Disc brakes have been a huge source of controversy and debate in the pro peloton and in cycling media. But what better place to get the actual opinion on whether or not they should be used in the race than the pro peloton? And what better place to ask the question than stage one of the 2017 Giro d'Italia? Uh, wow. After speaking with a couple of the riders, it was clear that actually many of them had a neutral opinion about disc brakes. They had questions about safety, but some were familiar with disc brakes and had ridden them in training, if not in racing. So what do you think of disc brakes and the Pro Peloton? I think in the future it will be good if, uh, if the rules are clear and uh, yeah, if uh, if everyone is on the same side, I think that's the most important. And then also, you never know if the UCI calls it back or not, and then maybe you're training on the disc brakes and you have to switch again. So uh, that's what I mean with the, the rules, like uh, if they are clear that the disc brakes are there, and uh, yeah, then I think also the, the safety should be okay. But I think braking-wise, it's always going to be better than, than normal brakes. And what are your opinion? What's your opinion on disc brakes in the peloton? Uh, I don't have really an opinion about it. I just see and uh, if we are obliged to ride with it, it's okay. And if not, it's not. Then uh, we'll see. And have you ever ridden a bike with a road bike with disc brakes yourself? No, no, never tried. No. Would you like to? No, not now. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, when you make them safe, it's a lot better braking power, a lot better braking power. You know, I used to race uh, disc brakes on my gravel bikes. So uh, to me, I think. Uh, at the end we will use disc brakes. I hope they can make the bike 6.8 kilos with it because I'm a weight weenie too, you know, but uh, that's something up to the frame builders and, uh, and Shimano itself. As you've heard, the riders in the Pro Peloton didn't really doubt that disc brakes do offer better braking than rim brakes, although safety concerns remained, especially regarding the cut to Owain Duhl's shoe at the Abu Dhabi Tour, an incident which at the time Duhl put down to a disc brake. Honestly, there, there's been a lot of confusion because uh, we didn't understand yet if the shoes was cut by a disc brake or not. Uh, so I think uh, we should do have, have a, like a, long, a longer uh, testing period, but testing means out of competition testing, not in the peloton. I don't feel comfortable when I see disc brakes in the peloton in the moment. Maybe I'm wrong. I would like uh, to have some uh, like uh, some sure uh, uh, some sure test made to be sure that they are safe. Kelly Fretz, our very good friend at Velo News, who you may recognize from a few GCN tech videos, actually put this to the test after the event. There you have it. Has trouble cutting a shoe. Has trouble cutting a saddle, a leather saddle. Uh, has no trouble with cardboard. You two, I think, are the only riders at this year's Giro racing discs. So can you tell us why that is, or at the first stage of this year's Giro racing discs? I think for me it's just the feeling of the bike is uh, the bike is much stiffer. Braking is always good. Uh, just yeah, I mean it's just the bike that feels good and uh, that's the main reason. There's no proof that, that that any incident actually happened because of any uh, because of the disc brakes. And I believe that uh, that it's also the future of cycling. I mean um, it's something that's that's coming up more and more and um, it's a very interesting technology and I think uh, of course there's always when there's something new there's always controversy about it so um, I think it's a normal thing. Uh, the biggest difference is in the rain so that's that's where it really makes a difference and uh, the last few Giros I did was always uh, a lot of rain so I think uh, that could make a difference in a, in a wet stage. For me personally I think, uh, I think it's the same for the other guys we don't really feel it's necessary. Um, uh, me personally, uh, I, I don't feel like it's a necessary. It's gonna already with the weight of the bike. Like we have a we have a disc brake bike here, and it's it's 700 grams heavier than this bike. So um, there are advantages and disadvantages. But I think for the for the moment, I think we're we're fine with the brakes the way they are. And um, maybe in the future, we'll all, we will have to change eventually. I'm sure. But for the moment, uh, the guys are happy the way it is. These brakes are perfectly adequate. I think for for what we do. Um, like, but again, like it's the bike industry who wants to move forward, sell more bikes, I think, so, uh, yeah. I imagine the difference between those brakes and the brakes that you rode when you first started cycling is perhaps greater than the difference between disc brakes and those brakes. I think so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I started off with aluminium wheels, which were, which were quite nice, and I've even rode carbon clinchers, which were a bit, a bit terrifying at times, but, um, but I think the combination we have here at the moment is, is, is 
perfectly adequate for what we do. We're doing a video about disc brakes in the Pro Peloton and we know that you use them a lot when you're out training. What do you think, what's your take on using them at races? I don't know, certainly for training they're amazing. Um, it's it's kind of strange going back to the rim brakes, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'd like to see some guards on them though. Do you have to adapt your descending technique from disc brakes back to rim brakes then? Uh, a little bit, but you know, I don't know if you know this, but we're professionals, so you know we're capable of adapting. So. <laughs> what about the riders who were opposed to using disc brakes then? Well, from a very small sample of the peloton, there weren't too many of them who were ultimately opposed to disc brakes, and those that did just kind of felt they didn't need them right now. One thing that really surprised us was that none of the riders we spoke to raised the issue of slower wheel changes if they were using disc brakes. Now this is an issue that many wheel manufacturers, frame manufacturers and disc brake manufacturers are presumably looking to solve. And it's something that Mavic really got the ball or the wheel rolling with at Eurobike in 2016. Personally, what I found the most fascinating about the responses that we got from the Pro Peloton was just how neutral many of the riders were towards disc brakes. Let us know what you think though down in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the share button too. To subscribe to GCN, all you need to do is to click on our logo, which is on screen right now. If you'd like to see us put disc brakes to the infamous chorizo test, just click there and see all of our videos from the 2017 Giro d'Italia. Click down there.